I strongly believe that a logo is an outward expression of your brand, and is also the symbolic embodiment of all information, connected with the product or service. A brand's identity, in this way, is its fundamental means of consumer's recognition, and it differentiates itself from others in its competition. Many a times a logo, a brand name, and a visual appearance, is mistakenly perceived by consumers, however, they do not cease using these items, but a sense of belonging to a brand does not reach the optimal level in such cases. This vlog has brought to you about some of the brands which have a great origin and which communicates to the world through brilliant logo designs. I am sure you might have well seen this piece of information elsewhere before also, so with due credit to them I have tried my best to collate this information in one place for you. Let's begin. Wyo, which stands for Visual Audio Intelligent Organizer, was originally a brand of Sony and was first introduced in the year 1966 for making personal computers. Sony later sold its PC business to a Japanese manufacturer in the year 2014, for it wanted to restructure its efforts to focus on mobile devices. While Wyo and Wyo sound identical in Japanese, the Wyo name also has phonetic connection to the word Wyolet. The Wyo name may appear to you as a fancy way of writing the letters, but genuinely, the logo has a hidden meaning behind the way it is written. Nike was founded by Bill Bobeman, a track and field coach at the University of Oregon, and his student Phil Knight in the year 1964. However, the company was originally known as Blue Ribbon Sports which later changed its name to the current Nike Incorporation in the year 1978. Most of us, however, thought that the Nike logo, also known as Swoosh, has checkmarked in general opinion, but this is not the case. The company has taken its name from the Greek goddess of victory. The goddess Nike was an inspiration to Greek warriors. So, the mythological association of the brand Nike is victory, flight and speed. Adolf Dustler and his older brother, Rudolf Dustler started the business as Dustler Brothers Shoe Factory after the World War I. Later, the feud between brothers settled in splitting the business into two. Rudolf Dustler decided to break off with Adolf to start the rival shoe company which was known as Puma, and Adolf settled for Adidas, other being short for Adolf and, thus, for Dustler. The logo symbolizes the mountain, which is a metaphor for the challenges that athletes most likely face on the way to meet their goals. The whole world knows Mercedes-Benz. The company was founded on 28 June 1926 by Carl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler. Today has over 2,90,000 employees worldwide and produces 21,50,000 vehicles per year. Needless to say, the company has proved its dominance everywhere, but any guess what is hidden behind the way its logo is designed? Well the tri-start shows the company's dominance over the land, sea, and air against competitions both in quality and style. BMW is the other such brand. The company was founded on 7 March 1916 by Karl Rapp. Today has over 1,30,000 employees worldwide and produces 26,91,423 vehicles per year. But any guess what is the hidden meaning behind the way its logo is designed? It shows the movement of an aircraft propeller with the white blades cutting through the blue sky. The Lego group began in the workshop of a carpenter in Billund, Denmark which began making wooden toys in the year 1932. Later, in 1934, it was known as Lego. The name originates from a Danish phrase, Leggota, which means, play well. International Business Machine or in short, IBM, is a global technology company which provides hardware, software, cloud-based services and cognitive computing. The white lines passing through the IBM's logo represents 
equality above all the else. Hardly anyone you know who has not heard about Amazon. The company, founded by Jeff Bezos, was initially started as an online marketplace for books, but later expanded to sell electronics, software, videos, apparels, furniture, food items, toys and jewelries, etc. The company was originally called as Cadabra and later renamed to Amazon. Bezos named it after the river Amazon in South America, partly because the name begins with the letter A, which is the beginning of alphabets. Bezos wanted to convey the idea that you could find anything you were looking for, that is from A to Z. The Amazon logo creatively shows his intention behind the design. An arrow that goes from A to Z shows the wide selection of products that Amazon sells online. The company was founded after the World War II in Tokyo under the name Tokyo Telecommunications Engineering Corporation. The word Sony was derived from the Latin word sonus, which means sound. Besides, the word Sony is so easy to pronounce in most languages. The collar drink was originally invented in 1886 by an Atlanta pharmacist, John S. Pemberton. When launched, Coca-Cola's two key ingredients were cocaine and caffeine. The cocaine was derived from the coca leaf and the caffeine was from cola nut, which led to the name Coca-Cola. We cannot deny the truth that online media has now become a commonplace for every one of us, be we are at home or work, in leisure or travel, relaxed or excited, almost every time and everywhere we consume a space in our mind for online media. Needless to say, it is the one that drives us to be connected with our acclaimed followers, to acknowledge the presence of those who would once mean the world for us and to up-to-date ourselves with affairs that move the today's volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world on its toes. Well, to cut it short, precisely the online or more specifically the digital media is the one that truly drives us to be there for things that matter the most in our life. From home to office, shopping to consumption, planning to execution, in every space digital media is playing a pivotal role in making our lives easier which would have been inconceivable generations before. So why not learning on the go? Learning restores own knowledge, is the guiding principle which drives Omar to create a unique platform to serve this purpose and many more. Stay tuned to the channel to learn on the go.